Need to make a simple repair to a wooden piece around your house? Make a hole in a board or maybe in the wall? Don't call a handyman. You can do this. Arriba. Hi, I'm Meredith Giles, and today we're going to take a look at drills and drivers and how you use each. Let's dive in. It's quite common these days to see a drill and driver set. While these two tools look similar, they have very different uses. Drills are used for making holes. Drivers are used for inserting screws or bolts into things. Most of us are at least somewhat familiar with a drill. A small motor turns a chuck which is used to hold a drill bit or other tool. Drills are primarily used for drilling holes. Drill bits can be made of very different materials and are designed to penetrate a variety of surfaces, from soft wood to very hard steel, concrete, and even delicate ceramics. Having the right bit for the job is paramount. If you're trying to put a hole in a concrete wall with a wood bit, you'll definitely ruin the bit and you could damage your wall. To change the bits, grab the collar at the front of the drill. This is called the chuck. Now use the motor to turn the chuck in the direction you need to go to open or close the teeth. You may have to reverse the direction of the motor to get it to go in the direction you need. Drivers are similar, but they have special gears, higher torque, and an impact component that makes them ideal for driving screws or bolts. Generally, they are set up to quickly accept a quarter inch bit. This is very standard across all manufacturers. You can get all different kinds of bits. Phillips head, flat head, star drive, hex drive, any number of possibilities. Just be sure you have the right bit for whatever you're working with. A bit should fit snugly into the screw or bolt you are working with. You shouldn't force it in, but if it's too loose, you may strip out your screw and possibly even your bit. Most screws will say on the box what bit is needed, and most bits are marked, although very small, with their size. So now we know that drills are used for making holes and drivers are used for putting in screws. How do we use the two of these together? Well, have you ever tried to put two pieces of wood together only to have the wood split and come apart and not hold the way it should? What you need is what's called a pilot hole. A pilot hole is a small hole that you drill beforehand, and what it does is it removes a good portion of the wood so that just the threads of the screw catch. That way you're not displacing as much wood and your wood is a lot less likely to crack. When drilling a pilot hole, be sure to choose a bit that is the same size as the main shaft of the screw, not including the threads. I just hold the drill bit right next to the screw and eyeball it. If I can't see the shaft but I can see all the threads, I've got the right size. If you need to drill a pilot hole into two pieces of wood, be sure they are properly lined up for their final position. Once the pilot hole is drilled, that's where the screw is going to go. Also, be sure to look at the depth you need to drill. If you don't want your hole to go all the way through a piece, measure the desired depth and mark that on the drill bit. I usually use a bit of electrical tape, but a black pen can do the job. So with the pilot hole, we want to make sure that our hole is a little bit smaller than the screw so our threads can still grab. Now if we're inserting a bolt or a dowel, we actually want our hole to be just a little bit bigger so we don't have any resistance when we put it through the hole. Both drills and drivers also have variable speeds. This may be adjusted on the unit with a switch or a dial, but it can also be controlled with how fully you squeeze the trigger. For many applications, you don't need to go full speed and you'll find you have much more control at lower speeds. A driver at full speed can drive a screw right through a piece of small soft wood, so use a little finesse. So usually this is where I say, that's it. But the reality is using drills and drivers gets better with practice. Go to the hardware store and pick up a few scraps of wood and some screws or nuts and just play around with it. Spend some time and really learn how to do it. Before long, you'll be doing it just like a pro. Check out our other videos for easy ways to make your life better. Like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And remember, you can do this. Ha <laughs> ha!